people, salutations, kindred spirits. Hey, welcome back to another weekly Wednesday magic lesson. Yeah, it's been a few weeks since I've done one of these, but dig it, we're back on track. In fact, all summer long, every Wednesday, I plan to drop a new tutorial. So hey, y'all stay tuned for that. And we're gonna kick it off with an exhibition of things. A prestidigitator might use a single rubber band. Yeah, just a single rubber band. Lots of things you can do with these. For example, developing the strength of the fingers. That's integral. Also the dexterity. Now to develop the dexterity for your entertainment pleasure, I'll make some weird shapes. Here's one now, the oval. The oval. <clears throat> it's a slow start that moves to a grinding halt as we make the square or the rectangle or the triangle. Okay, we're losing them. Let's pick it up. In and out, in and out though. How about the five-fingered pentagram of doom? Doom. It's the doom. You know what that signifies? The doom. It uh, signifies too much free time. Yeah, no social life. To <clears throat> I digress. So the rubber band star, I won't be teaching this today. Well, why not, Mr. Khan? I actually taught this already in a YouTube short. You could click that doohickey if you want to learn how to do the rubber band star. I find it's a good introduction to many single band effects. For example, Harry Lorraine has a trick called snapped, where you snap the rubber band and then put it back to one piece again. Hey, I don't intend to teach this one as well, but when we talk about things that you can do with a single rubber band, if I didn't talk about this trick, I'd be missing out on one of the, the best ones. I think the rubber band star makes sense as an introduction to this because it loosens it up really nicely. So if you don't know Harry Lorraine snapped, Google it, search the YouTube. There's tutorials on how to do this. What I'm going to teach you is my version of crazy man's handcuffs. Now you've probably seen this trick and yeah, it's a two rubber band trick that again, I don't intend to teach. It uses two rubber bands to create an illusion of solid through solid. My version just uses one rubber band and one thumb. So I guess instead of a crazy man's handcuff, it's a crazy man's thumb cuff. Now the idea is that the rubber band's on the thumb and appears to pass right through, just like the ghosts through the walls of a castle, or like one rubber band through another in the crazy man's handcuffs. And that's my crazy man's thumb cuff. And that's what we're gonna teach you today. All right, so let's get started with this crazy man's thumb cuff. I'm gonna show you that and a couple variations that might serve you well in other tricks, other props. But let's start here. This is a variation of what many of you know is the crazy man's handcuff. The crazy man's handcuffs as popularized by Mike Amar is a pen penetration effect where one rubber band starts inside the other and then they pass through one at a time. I'll take this note, this moment to note that uh, the true originator of this effect is a gentleman by the name of Arthur Setterington. Uh, Herb Zero also had some work on this in Tarbell 7. I'm going to be using those techniques to apply the penetration through my thumb. So with credit due to those fine magi, let's move on to the crazy man's thumb cuff. And here's the technique, the Setter, Setterington Zero technique as the case might be. The rubber band starts on the outside of your thumb. So make a thumb up. You want the band on the thumb and the forefinger of your right hand, and the band starts towards your audience. That's your starting position. Your second finger is gonna play a key role here. It lands on top of the first finger. and It needs to be here because the secret move happens when the uh, right hand pulls backward and stretches that rubber band. Watch the second finger. It's gonna bend in here and claim the rubber band off the tip of the first finger. So it starts on the thumb and first finger, second finger on top. As you pull the band back, this finger claims the band. Now, as you move the hand forward, the forefinger dives into the loop by the thumb. So it's going to go over here on this side. As you move the hand forward, the forefinger goes in there, and now it's going to move to the right. The forefinger moves to the right, and here's the back view. It now pushes against the thumb. With the forefinger pushing against the thumb, you get this picture, which should look like the thumb is on the outside of the hand as the audience saw it. Of course, my expensive camera is not focusing now, but I'll try and get it in focus for you here. There's the thumb, 
the band st starts on the outside, the second finger on top. You pull towards yourself, claiming the band on the second finger. As you come in, the forefinger dives into the loop by the thumb and then moves to the right and presses against the thumb, ideally in the same position where the rubber bands were, where the strands of the rubber band are. Uh, the tension of your forefinger pressing against the thumb is what keeps this all locked in. To make the penetration happen, all you need to do is release that pressure and open your fingers and it will apparently pass right through the thumb. And done at speed, that simply looks like this. That's the crazy man's thumb cuff. Onto the finger, the forefinger goes in, pushes and holds the pressure and you can do it against other fingers. And yeah, it's worth noting that you can do this penetration with not just the fingers or the thumb. You can also use other props. Yeah, other props. A deck of cards is possible. I find a cell phone works well for this. And I'll just try and give you a look at how that would look. Watch as the rubber band goes right through the phone. Try and get that in, in focus for you. One rubber band, one cell phone, and it looks like the rubber band goes right through. Close enough, you get the idea. Same technique, it starts on the outside of the phone between the thumb and the finger. Second finger goes on top. As you pull back, it goes onto the second finger. The first finger goes where the thumb is into that upper loop and then pushes towards the phone. The second finger comes out, you hold the pressure there. And then when you release pressure and move the fingers apart, that will give you your band your crazy man cell phone. Is that what it is? Crazy man cell phone? I don't know. It'll give you that thing. Uh, so no, this is uh, certainly worth exploring. You can make it go through all kinds of uh, objects. Use your creative license. If you find something extra juicy, drop me a comment. Let me know what you've been playing with. I'd love to hear your uh, creative pursuits. Maybe I was gonna wrap up here, but I have one more thing I wanna share here. I have a, I have a trick in mind that I wanna, wanna share, but I'm not gonna teach it in the open. The, uh, the trick in question is a trick with a rubber band, a single band, and a deck of cards. And I think what I'm going to do with this one, I'll let you guys watch it. And for the members, for uh, my kind YouTube members who seek to support my endeavors, I'm going to drop a tutorial for you guys on this trick in the members section. So if you're a member, look for that to uh, appear in, uh, in your radar now. It should be there now, but check out the trick and see what you think. And, I'll catch you on the flip side. Like most magic tricks, it'd be great if we had a layman here, a muggle, you know, someone to maybe pick a card, but hey, I'm just gonna take one at random and we'll do this experiment with the variable tension gripper, which encircles the deck that is kind of loose. Let's tighten things up just a bit. Now watch as the rubber band, the rubber band that encircles the deck goes in search of the mate. Yeah, the mate to that card. It just takes a second, like a will-o'-the-wisp traveling down into the depths, finding one card. And if these are a mate, that's a success. If these are a mate, well, that's a rubber revelation. And that's that. So that's a fun ditty I call Rubber Revelation. And hey, if you're one of my YouTube members, if you're in the conjurer level or above, then dig it. The tutorial for that handling is waiting on you now in the members section. Just one of what will be dozens of tutorials coming your way over the next couple months. So stay tuned for that. Everyone else tuning in on the reg, I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe you got a little something that you can use in your magical life. And Regardless if you did or you didn't, I'm going to thank you anyway. I do appreciate your time and your attention, your energy, and hey, that's going to do it for now. Thanks guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao!